Hey there, it's Lara here with Witchy Wednesday for the week of November 15th, 2017. Um, thank you so much for being here and for taking the time to watch this video. And if you do, um, you know, if you do resonate with the messages here, then I really appreciate it if you let me know that, um, whether it be, you know, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, leave a comment below, send me an email, what have you. Uh, that's all really helpful um, for me to to know that what I'm doing here is resonating with people and also also uh, you know help spread the word as well and so that's really very appreciated and if you'd like to get your own personal reading I'm getting really good feedback from people on these readings um, and I do so appreciate it when people have a reading and they let me know if it really um, resonated with them and it was helpful and um, it's really great if you let other people know that too and I know sometimes like some people don't even want to really admit that they've had a reading because they might be afraid of how that sort of looks you know that they're into this kind of thing um, but uh, and I get that that's okay if you're not there yet but you know if you if you have had a reading and you have found it helpful then it's really really helpful to me for you to spread the word um you know to other people and and to also let me know so so thank you for that if you do want a personal reading you just follow the links to the services page of my site and um you can you can order a reading there and see what uh what i have to offer there and you can look for some expanded services uh, moving forward as well so getting to the card for this week i chose from the rider Waite smith deck and the card that came up for us is the Five of Swords upright. So just take a minute to, to take a gander there. So in this card, you can see there's been a battle. And the guy who appears to have won is, is picking up the swords um, of his opponents. And his opponents are sort of, you know, skulking away a little bit. And uh, he's looking pretty pleased with himself. So the thing about this card is it's it's about um, fighting a pointless battle, really. And it's about, um, you know, this guy is, is looking, again, looking pretty proud of himself, pretty pleased with himself that he won this battle, but at what cost? And when he leaves here, you know, he might he might be right now feeling um, feeling pretty, you know, pretty all that, so to speak. And, uh, you know, look at me and 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 how great I am. Um, but then when he goes home and has to sort of sit with himself and contemplate um, and be alone. He then may feel like, hmm, was that really worth it? Was that really worth it? Yeah, I got some, you know, public recognition and it made me feel like uh, pretty, pretty, pretty cool. But really, how do I feel inside about about this? And why is um, why am I so concerned or more concerned about how I look, um, you know, to everybody else? and less concerned about how how I'm really feeling on the inside why why am I putting so much emphasis on you know looking so important and strong and uh you know being the winner kind of thing so really um I think that we're being encouraged to not engage in really pointless you know pointless arguments this week um and to also, you know, think like, is it worth it? Is it really worth it um, to do that? And really, am I concerning myself more with how I look on the surface with the superficiality of things um, and not concerning myself enough with how I really feel about that and with my own integrity and my own truth, um, you know, that kind of thing. So 
we're really, um, we're at this point right now, right in mid November where some people have already started their holiday preparations. Um, but it's really important to, to take a pause right now. And it's all about moving inward. Um, you know, in the Northern hemisphere here, we're at the end of Scorpio season, we're, we're approaching the end of Scorpio season where most of the leaves have all fallen off and it's time to clean up the debris, right? Literally and metaphorically. So it's time to really focus inward um, as much as we can to sort of check out what's going on with us um, internally to think about our motivations and uh, to dig deep. It's We have a Scorpio new moon happening on the 18th and new moons are always about beginnings and um, you know, it's a good time to begin this practice of self-reflection. And S Scorpio is not about the superficial, not even a little bit. <laughs> um, Scorpio is about digging deep. It's about self-mastery. It's about um, getting to the truth and the bottom of things. Um, and so it's it's not about the surface. It's not about concerning itself with what other people think and how, you know, how... It appears um, to the outside world. It's about cleaning up our 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 mess inside, right? About looking at um, what's there inside and uh, and what we can do to transform that and uh, to turn it into something that we're really internally proud of and and happy with. And that kind of thing. Um, so it's it's time right now to, to pause it and not start getting too caught up in holiday festivities just yet. And that kind of thing. There, there will be a time for that. That's coming, right? But we have to do the work first. We have to do our inner work first before we're ready to um, to move into the, the holiday season. And so, you know, I just, uh, we're, we're encouraged right now to concern ourselves less with how we're appearing to everybody else, um, to how important we're looking and how successful and, you know, how generous and strong and brave and all of those things. Uh, it's not really the time for that right now. It's about how are we, how are we sitting with ourselves in internally when we have to go home from, you know, the, 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 the battle, the outside battle of everyday uh, life and, and sit with ourselves. And how are we feeling about, uh, about that? Um, and if we're not feeling particularly great about it and in integrity about it, then it's the perfect time to contemplate how we might, uh, how we might change that and move forward in a different way. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope you found that helpful. Um, also, I want to let you know that uh, if you're not an email subscriber yet, then if you get on my mailing list um, soon, you have a chance to win a free reading with me because I'm giving away a free reading to one of my email subscribers on November 29th. So you have to subscribe before then. And it's only a contest for subscribers. So I don't send out a ton of emails. Um, but it's it is a way subscribing to my email list is a way to keep up to date on uh you know what's going on here if you're interested in terms of offerings and um special special contests and that kind of thing just for my subscribers okay so thanks so much again for being here if this resonated with you i'd so love to know and i'd really appreciate it if you would um, subscribe to the channel so that you can keep getting future future videos all right. Take care. Have a good week. Bye-bye.